So back again. Um, just learning. Uh, excuse me. Uh, just back again, making another video. Uh, in quarantine and in the psychiatric ward. Uh, this is. I don't know what to say. Um, I made a video yesterday just about things that are going on in my life and, you know, I guess the injustices that are happening. And uh, all I can say is I'm just exhausted, man. Like, I'm so exhausted. I just want to get my life together. I just want to get my life together. I want to see things for what they are. I want to like move on. I want to grow. I want to develop. I think, and I think the most frustrating thing for me right now is just being on a phone. Like, I think for me the most important thing is obviously getting a job, uh, relaxing a bit, and I guess just getting an office. Like I just, I'd really like an office just to maintain and manage my resources like you know have a laptop or a computer or a desktop pc where i could do work i can make essays like having a phone is not a bad thing but it's very limiting it's very limited it's very limited and i guess that's that's the name of the game right now um <laughs> It's a bit late, but I guess that's the name of the game. It's just, it's confining what you can and can't do. Like, don't get me wrong, with the cell phone, I could, I can make, I could do a lot of things. I, I can make essays, I could study, I could, I could do a lot of things, but, I don't know, maybe this, the screen's just not big enough for me, or, I hope my style is it's just, just annoying, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know, man. And even right now, me just trying to learn. Like, right now, I'm trying to learn things such as, like, um, I guess you could say engineering. Like, engineering is very difficult to learn. You know? Learning, like, there's one thing from learning, and there's another thing from putting what you're learning into practice. You know, and then also... Um, and, and forgive me because I'm just going to throw a bunch of words delegating you know uh, enough effort to showing your level of professionalism you know I think that's that's one of the challenges with me is that um, I'm just trying to show my level of professionalism you know it's like it's difficult it's extremely difficult because not having the resources, not having the resources and, you know, not having the time to really do what you, you like, right? And trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm both a university and I'm a college dropout. Like, you know, I dropped out of college, I dropped out of university, you know, like I'm not the best learner, you know what I mean? And even, even on the streets, like, like the thing is, Canada is a very versatile economy. Like, we're not an economy where, you know, you're just gonna see drug dealers on the street, you know what I mean? Like, we have, you might go to university, but you might not be going to university with university students. You might be going to university with elementary students. You know, um, it's the business owners, the managers, uh, the doctors, those are the university students. Uh, and those are the people you're competing against. And the thing is, you know, putting money into the system, it serves its purpose. It definitely serves its purpose. But at the end of the day, uh, when it comes down to time for test testing, it's like it's a different story. So uh, I guess for me, the difficulty is just finding the time and space just to do right right just to get organized just to finish what i i started like i went to university i went to college i plan on finishing those you know what i mean and i guess the difficulty in all of that is that you know people learn differently but people understand how you learn but i think the challenge for me is that
I wanted to understand how I really made. I was, I was experimenting, I was learning about myself, but I guess in this society, it's like so many people know how you think and learn. It's like, okay, you gotta do things this way, you gotta do things that way, right? So this book, but as I was saying, you know, in this economy, it's like, one school is not a necessary place to learn. Like, I'm competing with different individuals and trying to explain to myself. You know, and trophies of fame, but they can only extend so far as I push them. So, you know, that said, it's like, okay, you know, I might have some people supporting me, but it's like, how do I also support those people? You know, it's a very diverse economy, and the thing is, I'm coming into, I guess, the game with a different, with a different angle. Like, I'm coming in as a mental health patient. I'm coming in as, you know. I got a track record, like I got a history, and I'm not saying that with cockiness or pride, but you know, this game is very versatile, it's very tricky because not everyone's gonna succeed through the past that I present, you know? And the thing is, b behind me, I have a culture, I have a, a reservoir of talents I could tap into, you know? Um, that being said, I'm not going to put this on Africa, but like, you know, having, you know, an Afrocentric background, you know, growing up, you know, with a lot of culture, a lot of music, a lot of rich things to keep you happy and motivated, you know, but at the same time, there, there was a lot of limits because, you know, of course, you know, with stigmatizations and, you know, uh, and I'm throwing a lot of weird words out there, centralized communities, you know, um, where things are given and things are taken away, like, you know, um, it's a bit difficult, but uh, as I was saying, that is the world today, right? Like, institutions have changed, right? Habits have to change, you know, behaviors need to readjust, like, you know, I'm an author and a creative and a time technician, but, you know, that being said, I'm also a student, but the thing is, I'm not learning in traditional institutions. I'm learning in different environments. So I guess the methods of adaptation have to adjust at a very, you know, incremental and like precise, you know, at precise moments, just because like, um, when you think about life, it's like, okay, one moment I might be here, the next moment I might be there. What can I take with me, you know? That's why I have to teach you you guys about this, the seeds of tomorrow. It's like, what can I take with me to adjust and manage myself as an individual, right? Because, you know, like I said, right now the world's a little different. Um... Like, I, I put in a book, and I'm not here to sell you that book, because honestly, I might not even plan on selling my books, um, just because of all the nonsense that goes on in my life, but, um, you know, in one of my books called FG, uh, there's a term I call humonics, right? But with humonics, it's like, it's talking about the different labels and, um, the different umbrellas, I guess you could say, that society lives under. Like, we live under a lot of umbrellas, like blacks, whites, you know. Like, there's different categories of people that distinguish ourselves from each other, right? Like, obviously, I'll, I'll give you, like, the biological distinctions of, like, the phenotypes, you know. This is why I like to be educated, because I could describe to you more vividly these things that, you know, these abstracts of my mind like of course i have art but you know art is behind right now my art is if i had to grade it from the common grades of a, a d to an a i give my art a d plus a d plus just because first of all for one it's very rigid right now just because you know i have a dominant hand and i have a I'd, ha I'd say I have a dominant hand. No, I, I'd have, I have an exhausted hand and I have an abstracted hand. That's what I have. I have an abstracted hand and I have an uh, exhausted hand. 
my exhausted hand is very technical it's very technical you know my exhausted uh, my abstracted hand is very versatile but the thing is the, the versatility in my abstracted hand is not disciplined enough to you know work within the confines or, or within the parameters of uh, highly skilled occupations my exhausted hand can, however, um, accept that, you know, it, 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 it has, it has um, components that it relies on, such as economics, right? It relies on such components, such as economics, where, right? you know, um, it, needs, it needs certain materials to really define its, its, its skill and its beauty that it's able to accomplish. You know, so I think that's the trouble right now. Um, but, you know, as I was saying, you know, in this new world, as I was saying with humonics, it's like you live under certain labels. And with these labels, you know, relating back to culture, it's like there's so much that you could tap into, right? But there's so much that other peoples are granted with. So right now, I guess it's an old concept, but like I'm just bringing it back up especially with things such as black lives matters coming up because i'm a little precautious of how i step into black lives matter like i obviously doing my research it's like you know black like black lives matters is very important but as an individual entering a new society and uh, i like to call it a new society like post covid or you know post or 2021 you could call it 2021 to some literaries, you could call it Brave New World. I'm not calling it that. You could call it 1984. And I'm not speaking about any, you know, police intelligence whatsoever. I'm just talking about the trends that I'm viewing, you know, where we're going in society. Uh, what is the individual? That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I guess you could say I'm more fascinated about. Of course, I have hope for the future in terms of, like, okay, like, in light of anything that could happen, like, our worst nightmares, we always have solutions, and we always have a resolve that we could find. There's always resources. There's always individuals that have come to those situations that we could solve, right? So I'm not too concerned. What I'm most concerned about is my work ethic and my production, and I guess... Um, the finale, the finality of what I could do with the time that I have, right? Like um, that's that's the thing I'm more um, precautious about. Um, but you know, that is the world today, and you just have to adapt, right? Now you just have to adapt because, like I said, with humonics, it's like you can't live under the umbrellas. Because I'm a black man doesn't mean I could live under the umbrellas of a black man. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about skin tone, I'm talking about like, you know, culturally, you know, culturally, like as a black man, like the culture is one thing, but it's like, you got to look at the culture as like a pot. It's a pot full of different vegetables. It's like what you put in it, that's what you get out. But the thing is, you know, the, sp the ladle that you take, the, the ladle that you take to pull up whatever your portion is you, you know you may not get what you put in right you might get something completely different and that's what we have to that's kind of what the culture is that's what kind of society is at least in the light of my eyes you know so um, as i said like my contributions to the culture is of course art and you know hard work you know but the thing is the, the definition of hard work <laughs>